Hi friends and welcome to my very first journal with me video. I finally got the chance to get into this notebook and start off the new year and I'm gonna share the spreads that I created so far. I'd like to thank Skillshare for supporting creative channels like mine and for kindly sponsoring today's video. There is a link to a two months free trial in the description and I'll tell you more about it later on. So first, let me start by telling you a bit about the notebook itself. It's actually a sketchbook from Stillman & Burn, which I took to a paper shop and I asked them to trim the edge so that it fits into a traveler's notebook cover. I prefer it much more to the standard inserts because I wanted more pages and I also really like the thickness and the color of them. So for the cover page, I kept it as minimal as possible. I was a little scared to start because I had no idea where this was going to go, so I thought something simple would be best. I have had journals in the past where I would write entries and paste some pictures, but this year I really want to push myself to do more creative journaling with collages and things like that. The first spread that I'm doing is a reflection of 2019 and it's a prompt that I saw on Lavender's channel. I got the set of flower stickers from AliExpress and I really love it for journaling because it adds instant decoration with zero effort. So for the longest time when I was thinking of how to start this journal, I didn't want to do this spread at all, maybe because I felt like last year wasn't the best, but that's exactly the point of this exercise and I'm so glad I decided to do it because once I sat down and started to remember all the good things that happened, I was proven once again why journaling and memory keeping is so great because otherwise we might forget the good parts and focus on the negative. So I just wrote down some of the year's highlights and I think this was a great way to start off the journal because it put me in a really good mindset. The next pages are for things that I'm looking forward to this year and I have to say 2020 will be one of the busiest and craziest years for me and there's lots of things that I'm looking forward to so I just wanted to have that in here as well at the beginning of the journal and of course I left a lot of blank space because I have yet to fill this in. I also ended up decorating it with a couple more stickers and a bit of washi tape to tie everything together. Next up we have the highlights pages which is where I used some rectangular stickers to help me draw the shapes of Polaroids, one for every month of the year. So every month I'm going to print a specific picture that represents the most important memory and next to it I'm going to list some of the key things that happened that month. And it doesn't necessarily have to be good things, it can be whatever I think I would like to remember from each month. I initially wanted to do like one or two months per spread, but then I realized this would have given me way too much space and I really wanted something more concise. So I did the same thing on the next two spreads for the remaining months of the year. I'm going to be traveling pretty much every single month this year so I wanted to create a travel log where I'm just going to list the dates and where I went. I got the set of really thin scrap papers from AliExpress and they're amazing for journals because they're extremely thin so they won't create too much bulk even if you use a lot of them in your spreads. But anyways I love using these to create some textures and I also finally got to use one of my stamps and I finished it off with some washi tape. I'm sure you can tell that so far I've played it really safe with decorations and collaging because I'm still very much a beginner and I need a lot more practice until I can become comfortable in creating more elaborate spreads. 
So if like me, you're a beginner in creative journaling and you find it a bit overwhelming to start, I highly suggest you check out Skillshare because they have tons of journaling classes that will surely inspire you. This year, I was really inspired by Mimi Chow's classes to step out of my comfort zone and journal in a more visual way. She shows you step by step how you can do memory keeping and literally draw your everyday life through illustrated journaling. The classes on Skillshare are very accessible so you don't have to worry about being a certain level and you also have the support of your fellow creatives which I find really empowering. So if you want to make 2020 a year where you explore more skills, whether that's an illustration, journaling, or other creative skills, you can do all of that through the thousands of classes that Skillshare has to offer. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, so if you want to try it out, there's a link in the description for two free months of premium membership. Coming up to the last spread, I am once again doing an exercise from Lavender called Current Me vs. Future Me. And just like the title suggests, this is where you describe yourself in your present state, the good and the bad, and next to it you describe how you want to be. I think this is a very powerful exercise, which is why I decided to fill it in off camera, but I will link Lavender's video down below in case you want more guidance. So as you can tell, this journal doesn't necessarily have a rhyme or reason or a specific structure. It's not like a bullet journal where you can make mistakes if you write the wrong dates or something. Um, it's a lot more free and organic. This is the reason why I wanted to separate my bullet journal from anything that's personal and creative because I wanted to remove that pressure. But you can of course feel free to do some of these spreads in your bullet journal as well. Alright you guys, so that brings us to the end of this video and here's how everything turned out. It was definitely something new for me and even though I'm not super confident in my creative journaling skills, I am very much enjoying the process and sharing it with you guys and hopefully I can inspire you to start your own journals. I'll of course link all of the supplies that I used in the description and I'll also show a bunch of new journaling supplies in a haul video that will be coming pretty soon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys!